So this one's almost a throwback for me. It's Pinterest. So really popular social networking tool, but I really like it because it's all visual. It's similar to Instagram in that it's all images, but you're able to get a lot of great educational materials. So here's a quick look at how I use it. Um, you can see that uh, I searched for studio art lessons and then these are some of the results I get. I like the visual results. It's really helpful, especially for something like art, obviously. Um, in my collection, here's my profile and I share lots of different visuals. And the difference really between Instagram and something like Pinterest is that Pinterest, all of these images are also links. So it brings you to uh, the original source, which is handy. So. Um, you can see I have things like Creative Animation and Steam. Uh, so all of uh, the resources for my book, Steam Power, are here. Uh, and then just different things I've used over time. So Creative 3D Printing, Storm Drain Art, um, you know, Art Made with Code, things like that are really handy. Um, and, uh, you know, even something like a kitten break, because, you know, every once in a while, we need a break. Um, so one of the other things is they now have AI in here, and you're able to hit this AI button. Um, and it will bring up more ideas. So anything that's similar visually, uh, it will come up. So another handy way to use it. Um, and uh, again, if you're searching for lesson ideas uh, or just images, this has been around quite a while, but I just wanted to make sure that it's a, everyone understood that it's a resource you could definitely use for new ideas uh, and for visual exploration. So, you know, the AI element makes things uh, interesting and easy as well.